Hi everyone. You know, I thought I'd make this video in the car tonight because it's so hot outside. <laughs> I'm not used to those hot temperatures. <laughs> anyway, um, I have the air conditioner going here, so it, it feels really comfortable in the car here. I wanted to share a little story with you folks. Um, you know, I've been so busy lately. I've, I meant to make a video sooner, but over the weekend, but uh, I've been working extra at work, so I've been very busy, but I wanted to make sure I made a video tonight. But, you know, I was thinking I never shared this little uh, story, and, uh, you know, I truly believe that Jesus is coming very, very soon, but until then, I'd, I've got a lot of different testimonies and things that I can share, and this is one of them. But I, I thought I'd share this with you folks tonight. I've had a lot of people uh, try to tell me that God doesn't speak today. And you know, I have to say, they're wasting their time with me. <laughs> and I don't mean to be, to, to be smart or anything like that. I'm, I'm, just, uh, I'm just telling the truth, that's all. You know, the Lord, is, He really has blessed me that way. And He's spoken to me many, many times. A lot of people don't believe the Lord can speak to you. Well, I want to I wanna give just a little example, just one, one example. And I feel that somebody really needs to, to hear this testimony right now because uh, maybe you lost a loved one. Maybe, maybe today, maybe yesterday, maybe not very long ago, but you, uh, you know, it could be could be quite some time ago and you still haven't gotten over the grief you know oh God knows what you're going through but this uh, this little testimony is just really really neat uh, just one of the ways that God can speak to you well you know I was uh, I was working away at work and uh, in I, I was quite busy, and you have to listen close when the Lord speaks to you sometimes. You have to listen really close. But I was working away, and this man, uh, his name came to me that I knew from the past, but it had been quite a few years since I had seen him. And, uh, and his name, and I, I won't use his name, but... Uh, what kind of name can I use? John, I guess, would work. <laughs> uh, John and his last name, his last name came to me as well. But anyway, I'll just say John, but um, I'm working away, and I'm thinking about my work and everything, and just then the Holy Spirit spoke to me. This guy's named John. Well, I thought, well, that's kind of strange. I haven't seen him for an I don't know, it must have been 10 years anyway, it's a long time, and it, it, it's not like this guy lived close to me, two or three towns away. Anyway, I knew him, him and his wife and his family, you know, fairly well. I, I, uh, we used to go to the same church there for a number of years, years ago, but like I said, it had been quite a few years since I saw him. I thought, well, that's kind of strange, but I, I just kept working. I wor working away, and I didn't think too much about it. And just then, the Holy Spirit spoke to me again. John. I was, I was beginning to wonder, you know, I wonder if the Lord's trying to, trying to speak to my heart something about John, you know. So maybe I, I just, I, I didn't, I still didn't pay quite enough attention. Uh, and I kept working away, and it must have been about five minutes later, and it was a lot more clear. The Holy Spirit spoke to me yet one more time, the third time, and it was more bold. John! And I said, okay, I'm, when I get home, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call this guy. <laughs> I'm going to call, because and, 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 there's got to be something going on, because his name just came to me for the third time, and that time it was, it was very uh, pronounced, I guess maybe it would be the word. It was, it was very clear. 
So I, I knew then, okay, I'm, I'll call John. I told the Lord now, I'll call John as soon as I get home. So anyway, I, uh, I, when I, as soon as I got home, I found his number, I called him up. I didn't know if he'd be in the same, living in the same place or not, but he answered the phone. And, uh, how you doing, John? And, uh, you know, I, and then I went on to tell him, you know, I was working away at work today, and the third time that your name came to me real clear, I knew that I had to call you. I just knew that there was something going on. I had to call you and encourage you somehow. And uh, and then then he started to say, Mark, do you know anything about what's been going on? And I said, No, I I I don't know a single thing about you and your family. It's been so many years since uh, since I saw you guys, but no, I haven't heard any anything at all. And then he went on to tell me, Mark, my wife passed away. And if I, if I remember correctly, because this happened about, I'm thinking about eight to ten years ago, I don't know, I'm just guessing, but um, he went on to say that, uh, that they, had, they had had the funeral, the family and himself, they had had the funeral, and I, if I remember right, it was it was the day before that. Just it was just a day away, and uh, like I said, if I remember remember right, but it was very near to the time. Anyways, he uh, of course he wasn't. He took time off from work, so he was home, and and uh, he was telling me that uh, he was just around the house and uh, thinking about things. And and, uh, and then it started to bother him, you know, that uh, he was alone. He felt so alone. And he really wondered, you know, God is a God of love. But does he really know what I'm going through? Does he really know? And he was feeling that way. You know, we can, you know how it is. We can feel, we can get feeling that way sometimes that, uh, God, are you there? You know, are you... Are you? Do you really care? Are you? You? There's so many people that you're taking care of, that you're speaking to, and uh, are you? Are you really that personal? You know. Well, he uh, he said that's how he was feeling, and then the phone rang. To God be all the glory. This is not certainly not me. I, I share this because I, it's certainly to give God all the glory because who am I? I'm just I'm just his messenger. Um, you know he'll speak to me and I'll and I just repeat it that's all. I just thought that was so neat. You know God cared so much about this guy John. He cared so much about him and his family that uh, that he laid it on my heart to be sure to call him tonight. You need to call John and see how and see what's going on. You know, I just I just thank God for his faithfulness. You know, he loves us so much and he's very very personal. Now, you might have lost it. You know, probably the reason why I felt to share this video right now is there's no doubt some people that's listening to me right now that you just lost somebody very close to you very very close and very dear you know God he he loves you so much he cares and he sees every tear that falls he really does he cares so much his love is beyond the understanding of this world this world cannot understand, can't possibly understand the love that God has for you. His love is so pure, but he, he certainly knows your, your sorrow and your pain. And whether it's a death or whether it's a, you might have lost somebody very close to you that you thought were close to you, you were close to them, but they didn't turn out to be the friend that you thought they were and maybe they were not loyal to you 
whatever the case, you know, God, He knows. He knows all about it. A song coming to my mind right now is Jesus knows all about our troubles. He will guide till the day is done. I probably shared this song before. <laughs> There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. You don't have to face your troubles and your uh, problems. You don't have to face them all by yourself. You can just call out to Jesus right now. Oh, he hears you. He, believe me, he hears you. I've learned the voice of the Lord through the years. And it's just like that time there. The third time, it took the third time for me to catch on. But, you know, he'll, whether it's somebody's name or an old hymn that you haven't heard for a long time, or maybe it's some kind of a song that you haven't heard for a long time, you're really going through something difficult. And, uh, and something comes to your mind, you know, chances are it's the Holy Spirit trying to comfort you in that uh, trial or circumstance that you're in. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you folks. If you don't, if you don't know Jesus, we want to make sure that we come to know the Lord in this life because when this life is over, like the Bible says, as a tree, falls so shall it lie I, I want to see you in heaven I want to see you there and uh, oh we're gonna have a time we're gonna we're gonna have a time when we get over yonder you know I truly believe that Jesus that he will be the life of the party I really believe that <laughs> I believe that with all of my heart anyways just call out to Jesus if, if you don't know Jesus, just uh, just call out to him and, and ask him to come into your heart and into your life and uh, to be your Lord and Savior and tell him you believe. You, you believe that he came and he died for you. Ask him into your heart and into your life and he'll come in. And uh, you will experience so much peace, so much peace. But anyway... Thank you so much for watching, and God bless each and every one of you. And you have a great week, what's left to it, and, uh, and uh, just keep looking up. One of these days, Jesus will surely come. But for now, we're going to just keep encouraging each other. And uh, God bless you all, and I truly love you all. And I look forward to meeting each and every one of you someday. We'll have lots and lots of time in heaven. <laughs> God bless you all. Bye for now.